Okay, this is pretty cool. As you can see, I'm just clicking at each corner of the property. Okay, you can say this is just a parcel or maybe just a property, okay? So I'm just clicking at each corner and as you can see after closing the shape or maybe after closing the travels, you can see the magic, okay? That's the parameter and as you can see the area that's been shown on the screen. You can also do some conversion, okay? In the area units just by clicking this drop down and if you want the area in acres, in hectares, and other units like square feet, square yard, square meter, and so on. This is pretty cool and you can do it in seconds, okay? Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching The Engineer Boy. So how can we measure land area without visiting the site? That's gonna be very easy, okay? So how can you do it? Make sure you have internet connection and then you have to just type Google Earth in your Chrome or maybe any other browsing engine, okay? Okay, next, what you have to do is just to click on this first link, Explore Google Earth, okay? Click on there. That's going to navigate you to the Google Earth, okay? That's going to take some time depending on your internet connection, okay? So, what you have to do now is just to type the location, okay? I mean, the, the address for the location. Let's say Islamabad for me. That's going to be okay. Okay, so after typing the location, make sure you press enter from your keyboard. Now, this Google Earth will navigate you to the same location. Okay, so this is Islamabad. Now, just navigate or zoom in to the location or maybe to the property or maybe to the land which area is required. Okay, let's just zoom in in I8. Okay. So let's say we have some property over here, okay? This is the same thing, just a land, okay? And now, let me just calculate the area of this property, okay? I'm going to take this area, does not matter, okay? You can do it with your own property, it does not matter, okay? Now, we have two options. One is this scale, okay? Which is just, you can say, measuring the distance and the area. And then we have this polygon, you can say, okay? So, we can add a path or polygon. Okay, let me just use this ruler first. As you can see, after clicking that, the dialog box for the, uh, you can say, area and parameter that appear. Now, what I have to do is just to specify the boundary, okay? And I'm going to do this roughly because I don't want the video to be longer. You can do it very accurately, okay, if you want. Okay, you can zoom in, zoom out for the accuracy, okay? Let's say this is the boundary, okay? I'm just gonna go it a little bit quick. Okay, when you are done, make sure you close the shape because area is the property of a closed or maybe a boundary geometric shape, okay? So, close that. As you can see, that's been highlighted. However, if you have made any mistake, you can even correct that after closing the shape, okay? As you can see, I can drag those uh, you can say vertices maybe, okay? So you can do it, okay? Even after closing the polygon. And when you're done, just look at this dialog box, okay? What they have measured is actually the parameter and the area. That's in square feet. You can change that from the drop down, okay? And that's actually different things are available over here. Like you can say acres, okay? 5.47 acres. And you can do it, okay, you can try many other units like square meter. That's pretty cool, okay? So this is how you can do it. Even you can use another uh, functionality. You can say the polygon, okay? Just click on the polygon. And let's say, let's calculate area of this simple or maybe this uh, limited area, okay? Okay, just by clicking the boundary. Okay, let's done. As you can see, the highlighted portion and its area and parameter that's been shown over here. So simple. This is how you can use Google Earth to determine the area or you can say the measurements of your land. See you in the next video.